Hey, Clara, you're going to be able to make dinner tonight, aren't you? Sorry, Mom. I'm too busy with work today. I told you I wouldn't be able to make anything. I don't have time. Don't make excuses. I know that your job is just a lie, so that you would get away with the fact that you're lazy and irresponsible. You're too lazy to do any real work. That's not true. I work every single day. I've told you so many times. Why don't you get that? Why should I believe you? Everything that comes out of your mouth is suspect. You're a serial liar. I don't want to hear it. Like, I mean, whatever, you know? You totally don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. But seriously, I'm telling the truth, okay? I have this, like, super crazy important deadline coming up. So obviously, there's absolutely no way I would have any time to make dinner. I mean, come on, Mom. It's common sense, right? Can Dad do it? Or like, seriously, what about you? Where are you? Did you like disappear into another dimension or something? It's so frustrating trying to get a straight answer from you. Oh my gosh. What kind of wife are you? Seriously. Your poor dad is sick and you expect him to do your stupid chores for you? How selfish can you possibly be? It's unbelievable. He understands that I'm crazy busy with work. Like, I already told you a million times about my insane work. Have you ever listened to me? Even texting with you right now is wasting my time. I need to focus on my work, okay? It's like you don't even care. How rude! I'm your mother. Show some respect. Mom, if I ignore your texts, we both know you'll be all mad and worried. Mostly mad, though. But seriously, I'm telling you, there's absolutely no way I can make dinner tonight. Why don't you get Peter to do it? He's perfectly capable, you know? Oh my goodness. First, you want your poor sick father to do your work. And now you want to force your miserable husband to do your stupid chores. Can't you see he's busy with his own business? His work is incredibly demanding and stressful, you know? It's not a walk in the park. I get it, okay? Peter has his own business, but he also has plenty of free time and goes out to have fun all the time. It's not like he's chained to his desk 24-7. He could totally make dinner for everyone, like no big deal. It wouldn't hurt him to lend a hand once in a while. Are you serious right now? You have no idea what it's like to be in his position. You've never worked hard for a job in your life. All you do is go out and have fun all day, without a care in the world. So obviously, the least you could do is make dinner. It's the bare minimum, really. If you can't help out around the house, you're just causing more trouble for the family by being here. Can't you see that? We have enough on our plates already. What are you even saying? I did everything I was supposed to do. I got my own job and took care of myself for like ever. I did it because I thought I could somehow help you and my husband with our financial problems, you know? I thought you understood that, but lately it feels like you've forgotten all about it. I don't know what's changed your mind, but you totally don't seem to remember any of the sacrifices I've made. I don't get why you're acting like this. Don't you think you're being, like, totally unfair? You've said some seriously awful things to me lately, and I don't get why. I deserve better treatment than this. You seriously don't know? It doesn't even matter what excuses you make. You haven't done anything to help this family. You're just a lazy, useless waste of space. You take and take without giving back. The least you could do is help out around the house, you lazy piece of crap. It's the least you could do after all we've done for you. Oh, I see it. The reason why you are so busy taking care of this house is that you are spending time with another man out there, right? I knew it all along, from the first time. Wow, Mom, you didn't have to take it that far. I ain't going with any man. You're being unreasonable. Don't you ever think that your daughter-in-law also has to struggle with the world outside to make sure that you have a fulfilling life? 
And now you are saying that I'm unfaithful to your son? What kind of mother are you? Who knows? And you know what? I moved into this house so that I could help your husband to watch over your every action. Wait for it. One day I will be able to catch you red-handed. What on earth are you thinking? It's like I'm a stupid animal to you. Listen to me. I'm not dating any single man. And you don't have the right to say that about me. So stop your irrational thoughts about me. Anyway, I'm going to have an important meeting coming up. So just stop these meaningless fights, okay? How dare you say that to me like that? Okay, we'll see about that. Soon you'll be kicked out of this house. <laughs> Clara, did you really inform my mom that I would cook dinner? What on earth are you talking about? Can't you see that I'm overwhelmed with my reports? Do you even have any idea to handle your responsibilities as my wife? Peter, please allow me to explain. She pressured me into preparing dinner, but I was swamped with my own paperwork, you know. So I simply asked her if you could lend a hand with the household chores. Besides, you will eventually be my husband, so it wouldn't hurt for you to learn to assist your wife with these mundane tasks, right, dear? Dear? Ugh, don't you ever call me dear. It gives me goosebumps. The issue here is, how dare you speak about your future husband in such a manner? Or do you believe that with the properties we possess, you'll soon become a wealthy lady and take over this entire house? Then you would order everyone in this house to do the housework for you? In your dreams. Remember, this house belongs to us only. My father bought it initially so that you could have the honor of living here, okay? You need to adjust your attitude. It's rude, and you should be aware of that. Alright, what are we actually discussing right now? Are you attempting to change the subject? I'm trying to convey that you could help me with the household chores, like any typical husband would. Are sweeping the floor or washing the dishes too difficult for you to handle? And you're afraid that I would take all your stuff away? How absurd. Do you think that I'm that terrible? I don't desire even the smallest thing in your house. None of those possessions mean anything to me. Initially, you told me you were over the moon to have me here with you. And now you're saying I should consider it an honor to do these things? You're so hypocritical. Ah, now my wife is suggesting that I'm lazy and bothersome. Is that right? Well, well, I'm starting to see it now. In front of my face, you act all innocent and weak just to gradually win my affection? But behind my back, you engage in every possible mischief to tarnish my reputation, don't you? Your scheme is so cunning that I couldn't figure it out all those times. So tell me, who's the two-faced person now? <sighs> We've been arguing a lot lately, and I've been doing my utmost to mend our relationship. I'm working my ass off to earn your acknowledgement so that I can be a valued member of your family. Now I'm even earning money to support your family, cooking meals, doing household chores, and countless other tasks you forced upon me. And this is how you repay me? You keep talking about your work repeatedly. Do you think your job justifies every deceitful thing you've done? Lately, I've noticed that you've been associating with many men. Wow, that's why you haven't got time to cook dinner, right? So working at the company is merely a disguise, isn't it? Well, that explains everything. Inviting my mom here to keep an eye on you was such a brilliant idea. Tell me, how many men do you want to go on dates with each day? You better tell me the truth or else you'll face the consequences. Is this all you know what to talk about? You're insulting your wife. What does that matter? It doesn't make any sense to me. Fine, you have no evidence of me betraying you, yet you rush to conclusions. Don't you realize how absurd you sound? You're hurting me so much that I can't even see you as my ex-boyfriend anymore. Listen closely. I'm not like those foolish and malicious girls you encounter every day. I have my own self-esteem, 
and I know my limits, and will never do anything that could throw dust on your name. You can always be sure about all the words I have said. I don't know why you have such thoughts about me, but if you ever think ill of me like that, then we would have to rethink our relationship. Rethink our relationship? Oh please, Clara. You're acting like a victim here, but let's not forget the facts. You've been avoiding your responsibilities, making excuses every time. And now you're trying to turn it around and make me look like the bad guy? You make me feel irritated. Excuses? I'm not making excuses, Peter. I'm just trying to explain my side of the story. But as usual, you can't stop insulting me and putting bad things in my head. It's exhausting dealing with your constant suspicions and accusations. Don't try to twist this around on me, Clara. You're the one who's been neglecting your duties as a wife. And now you want me to believe that I'm the one at fault? I've had enough of your manipulations and shifting blame. It's time we address the real issues here. Oh, so now I'm the manipulator, am I? How convenient for you to paint me as the villain. Ugh, I'm too tired to take this painful burden. I need a rest right now. How dare you rest when I'm worrying for this family? I've been tired of your attitude from long, long ago. Don't say like you're the only one who has to suffer. Mark my words, Clara. Being my wife right now doesn't guarantee that you will still be my wife in the future. I can divorce you anytime. So don't ever think of ordering me and my mom around ever again, okay? And one more thing, try to be a nice and obedient wife. If you still don't know your manners, I'll throw you out of this house. Got that? Mom, please answer the phone right now. I'm losing my temper. I want to ask you something. I can't believe you could be that unreasonable. Ugh. Do you have to be so annoyingly impatient? What's the big deal anyway? Just spit it out. Okay, Mom, I'll come straight to the point. Yesterday, Peter told me that you caught me cheating with another man. He even told me that I was a terrible slut. I mean, like, what the hell was that? I was trying to explain at that time, but he didn't listen and just couldn't stop insulting me. So I'm calling to ask you, what on earth did you tell Peter? I want an explanation. You better explain clearly, because I don't deserve such treatment from your family. Oh, yeah. Surprise, right? Being caught cheating. That hurts, right? It's so good to see you being humiliated for your own sin. You'll have to pay for all the terrible things you have done to me, to this house. But please, explain to me what happened. I have never done anything wrong. So just give me a reason for that. Sure, so listen clearly. Yesterday afternoon, you went to your workplace without bringing your smartphone along. There, I realized that there was a strange number calling you. When I answered it, it was a man calling for you and asked where you had been. And I realized that this number has called you so often recently. He must absolutely be your secret lover, right? No wonder why you never let me get close to your phone. You crooked girl! What? You're being ridiculous! And all of this is insane! And what is so ridiculous about you betraying my son? You act like you've got it all figured out, don't you? Well, I never thought I'd have to spell it out for you, but I'll do it anyway. I did not cheat. I've never even nurtured such thoughts in my entire life. And that person you're so convinced is my lover? Yeah, guess what? He's my extremely important business partner. We were discussing a crucial contract for our new project. But, of course, you wouldn't know that because you are actually losing your mind. After all these years, I've never felt an ounce of respect from you. Oh, please, spare me the excuses. Your self-esteem is nothing compared to the suffering you've put us through. Lazy and deceitful. That's what you are, my dear. No mother in her right mind would want a daughter-in-law like you. Seriously, Mrs. Emma, could you just like pause for a second and actually listen to me? I swear on everything. I've never had the intention of disappointing you. 
If you just take a moment to calm down and open your eyes, you'd see all the efforts I've put in to please you and gain your acceptance. Isn't that enough for a mother like you? Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to express how much you've let me down, Clara. Just so you know, I took matters into my own hands and called your parents. Yup, spilled all the juicy details to them. Oh, and not only did I inform them, but I also instructed them to come and pick you up. <laughs> you should be grateful to me for this golden opportunity to finally reunite with your beloved parents. You must be thrilled, really. And guess what? They apologized to me and said that they're on their way to pick you up right now. Congratulations, you're officially not my friend in law anymore. Get out of this house, like, right now. What? Could you just please repeat what you have said? Oh, don't act all surprised. Yeah, of course, I spilled the beans to your parents. I told them how you've been lazy, irresponsible, and oh so unfaithful to my poor son. Isn't that delightful? Now it's time for you to pay for all the privileges we've given you. When you come home with your parents, don't even think about receiving anything from us, especially this house. It's ours, remember? And don't ever think that I'll accept you as my daughter-in-law once again. I can't believe it! So that's your intention, isn't it? You want me to leave this house that bad? I know that you're evil, but I wasn't aware that you would use my parents so that you can force me to leave like this. That's the price for not obeying your mother-in-law. Don't need to show me such a face. You think that you just need to act so weak and then I will allow you to destroy this house with your tricks? You don't know how much my predicament is to you. So no way would I want my son to marry you. Better go back so your parents could teach you how to treat your in-law family. My tricks? It would never be as filthy as yours to make me leave the house. And Peter, with your overprotective attitude like that, will never be able to grow mature and know how to take care of himself. Ha <laughs> You don't need to worry about him. He's mature enough to realize that you do not deserve his love at all. I told him all of your secret actions. And well, he immediately realized your true face. So here is the divorce petition that he signed already. Sign it and free him. Peter is a good, obedient boy, and he'll never fall into your stupid traps. Especially when I'm always by his side. You're the crackhead here, not him. By the way, He's going to marry a girl that I chose for him. So don't try to break in, okay? Now you'd better pack your stuff and get lost right away before I tell the police you're trespassing. Fine. You think you can scare me with your threats? Fine. I'll sign this divorce paper. The fact that you called my parents to take me home is the last straw. And you know what? We're strangers from now on, so I don't bear any burden anymore. I'm free. Okay, go as far as you can. Then you will realize that there is no mother as good and caring as I am. Clara? How did you dare to do that? Just answer my phone. When are you going to stop neglecting me and reply to me right now? Okay, what's that? How could you film that video and play it on my son's wedding day? Don't you know how humiliated he and I were in that moment? Wow, take it easy, Mrs. Emma. Nothing to be surprised about. You know what it's called? It's Curses Come Home to Roost. You think that you all can get away with all of your insults and accusations? Oh no, you don't. I had to suffer it all the time I lived in your house. Sometimes I even thought about killing myself. Therefore, I will never allow it to happen again. I don't want another innocent girl to be harmed under your cold-blooded hand. So, I just installed secret cameras around the house, filming all the moments you and Peter scolded at me and threw your filthy words on my face. And then I had all the precious clips that could be the clear evidence of you bullying me. Later on, my job was just to collect the most interesting parts and put them together in a complete video. That video that would ruin your lives forever. What did you say? Oh no, this could not happen. I can't believe you would use the video to make us miserable like this. 
Just because of you, I had to cancel the wedding immediately. All the guests we invited saw the video, which was a shame. My future in-laws also saw it and became angry with me. They even swore that they would never let their daughter get in touch with Peter ever again. Well, that's what you deserve. Oh, and one more thing. Remember my business partner that you answered on the phone that day? He's the manager of the company that Peter was working in. Surprise! Well, I showed him the video, and he was like, Oh my god! So he told me that he would fire Peter tomorrow. He said that a man with such a terrible attitude towards his own wife didn't deserve a place in his company. I will just be here and wait until he finds a new place to work for. But I don't think after seeing the video, they would accept him. <laughs> Clara, my dear, I also misunderstood for such a long time. But then, if you delete the video and say that it was fake, I'll make things right. Peter could get back his position, and then you could certainly become my dearest daughter-in-law again. Just remember how hard you have tried to please me so that I could accept you as my daughter. Now you have the chance. What the heck are you talking about? Honestly, I will agree to become your daughter-in-law when pigs fly. You still think that after all the time insulting and ordering me, you have the right to say that? So, get back to the first point. I've done my job and damaged your lives, so don't waste time begging me, okay? It's no use. Phew, what a relief that I did this. Or else, I can't tell you how many girls would fall into your stupid trap. You're such a cunning fox, and cold-hearted too. How dare you treat Peter like that? He used to be your husband, remember? That's not a good thing that you do to your husband. Wow, 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 calm down. We are strangers. I am not your daughter. And Peter, of course, is not at all my husband. Actually, his performance was not really good at all, so that's just fair enough, right? But from now on, maybe no one would ever want to marry him anymore. He would have no wives, no children, and live alone forever. You don't want that to happen to your ex-husband, do you? Yes, I mean it. Each and every filthy thing you did to me, I will make you pay for it. Every single one. I will never just stand here seeing you being happy. Not ever. Clara, I've been so hard on you. Now I am too embarrassed to go out and see people's faces looking at me. We just have you here to save us. Could you just consider this and give us a way out? I swear I will change if you want. You can always come here to live with us, after all. We still have a chance to be mother and daughter, right? My little daughter. Shut up! All your words do is just get on my nerves. We will never meet each other again. It's time you suffer the consequences from your evil actions. So don't try to complain. You'll never receive any forgiveness from me. And don't ever text or call me, or else I'll call the police to arrest you for disturbing others. After that, I just turned off my phone and refused to answer any calls or messages from my used-to-be mother-in-law. Finally, she got what she deserved, all her neighbors tried to ignore and boycott her family. About Peter, after being fired, he was then a trivial, low-paid waiter. Moreover, he also had to suffer the burden of poverty and pressure each day. And of course, for a really long time, no single girl wanted to marry him. I mean, who would want that? After about three months, not being able to suffer the criticism from neighbors, they had to sell their house and move to another faraway area. I used to feel so bad for them, but anyway, karma will come and they are not an exception. Whether their living conditions will become better in the future, only time will tell. <laughs>